Hey yogis, thanks so much for practicing today. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Flo and I'm really excited to guide you through this vinyasa yoga practice. It's going to be a very fun, creative and strong sequence. You will work mostly on the hips, mostly hip strength and mobility, also flexibility. And then upper body is always in there, so we will do some nice plank variations today, some nice chaturanga variations. And we'll also work on our core, which is just so important to be overall healthy in the body. All you need today is your mat. If you have two blocks, then grab those two, put them at the front of your mat. Or you can also just use books if you have those at home. When you're ready, let's begin. Come on to the back. We'll start nice and easy on the back in half Shavasana. The feet are on the ground, the knees are bent. Close your eyes for a moment, place your right hand on your belly, the left hand on your chest. Feel how the body is melting into the ground and supporting by the earth. Feel that support from the mat. Mentally get ready for the practice, get ready to move. And you can already be so proud of yourself for doing the video, for doing the work, for doing the practice and not just sitting there watching me do all the work. You can be proud of you, proud of yourself for doing it, for trying it out. Start to feel the breath, notice how the air is coming in and out through the nose, one breath at a time. Nice and slow, without changing or controlling it, just feel and breathe, arrive. Invite all the other sensations around you as well. What can you taste? What can you smell? What can you hear besides my voice? Hopefully you have some with music going, maybe one of my yoga playlists on Spotify. Link is in the description if you have not heard about that. This goes very nicely with this sequence and with our classes. Let's take a moment to set an intention for your practice today. What are you here for? What do you want to work on? Keep coming back to that intention. You can always modify this practice. You can leave something out. You can add something in. Just be honest to yourself. Just show up to the mat with the honest you. The honest you today. Take off all the masks. No need to pretend anything. Just be yourself. Listen to the body. Bring your heels close to your hips, press them to your heels, lift your hips up, bridge pose. Reach both arms up and over your head towards the ceiling. Start to extend the right leg up towards the ceiling as well, as if you're standing on the right, uh, with the right foot on the ceiling, so the right foot is flexed, the toes are pointing down. Keep the hips lifted. Lower the hips down, let them hover, keep the right leg straight, lift your hips back up. Lower down and lift lower and lift for the last one cross the right shin over the left uh, thigh and then set the hips down bring the legs all the way over to your left side for a twist extend the right arm away from you if you want to go deeper you can slide that right leg all the way over the left thigh just like eagle legs without crossing the ankles just for a couple of breaths, relax, breathe, feel the spine. Use your left hand, help your legs back to center. Let's switch sides, bring both feet down to the ground and then press into the heels, lift your hips up high. Reach both arms up as well. Start to extend the left leg up towards the ceiling. Hold, lift your hips higher up, press more into the right ankle, into the right heel. Now start to lower the, hi the hips down, let them hover. Inhale, press back up with the breath. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Last one, lower. 
and lift. Cross the left leg over the right thigh. Set the hips down, bring the legs over to the right side. Extend the left arm away from you. Just feel that twist, breathe a couple of breaths here. Use your right hand, come back to the center. Happy baby, hug both knees into the chest. Give yourself a nice hug and grab the outside edges of your feet. You can also grab behind the knees. Rock side to side if you want. You can straighten one leg, then the other. Now hug knees into the chest. Start to rock forward and back. We'll all meet in both posts. So the feet are lifted off the ground. Point the feet, the toes forward. Reach your hands forward. Pull the shoulder blades together on your back to lengthen out through the spine. Breathe here. Arrive. If at any point this feels uncomfortable for the lower back, you can always set the heels down and just stay there or just lay on your back if that's way too much and you have any uh, back issues or so. If you want to continue, then we start to lower down to a low boat, extend the legs forward, lower the upper body down. Try to tuck the tailbone, and press your lower back into the ground. Squeeze the legs together, point the toes, rise up for boat. Lower down, low boat, up to boat, low boat. Let's do three more. Try to move nice and slow, controlled, not much momentum. Last one. Very good. Set the feet down. Push yourself forward for a squat. Then straighten your legs for forward fold. Grab opposite elbows. Rock side to side. Bend one knee. Straighten the other. Just give the hamstring some time to open up. Release the hands down, take a deep breath in, lift up halfway, hands to the grounds or hands on the shins. Exhale, forward fold. A couple more just like this, inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale to fold. Inhale to lift. And exhale to fold down. Bend your knees, roll up through the spine to standing. Take a deep breath in, the arms reach up, the palms touch. Exhale, chair pose, bend your knees, send the hips back. Now we start to pull the lower belly in, send the hips more back, reach your arms higher up. The legs are already working so much, so let's bring more awareness to the hands. Mm -hmm. Lift your heels up high, come high into the toes, hold it there and breathe. Now squat all the way down, nice and slow. Reach your arms forward, lift your hips up slightly, so we start to engage the thighs. Breathe. With the heels lifted, straighten the legs, reach the arms up and over your head. Balance here and then bend your knees again, keep the heels lifted. We're squatting all the way down. Let's do one more just like this, reach the hands forward, lift your hips up slightly, hold, breathe, pull the lower belly in. Then straighten your legs, keep the heels lifted, the arms reach, bend your knees, squat down through, chair pose all the way down. Set the heels down, straighten your legs, forward fold. Very good, take a deep breath in, lift up halfway. Exhale, step the right foot back, pyramid pose. Both heels are on the ground, both legs are straight. If that's not the case and the right heel is lifted, Shorten the stance. Maybe use blocks here underneath the hands. Then inhale, lengthen out through the spine. Exhale, fold forward and down. Inhale to lengthen and reach. Exhale, fold. Three more breaths here. Gently pull that left hip back. Keep a micro bend in your left knee. 
Now we're all bending the left knee, shift forward, warrior three prep. Both fingertips on the ground or use blocks here or books if you have. Reach back through the right heel. The right toes are pointing down. At the same time, you're reaching forward through the spine and through your head. Now keep the hands as they are. We start to bend both knees and tap the right knee outside the left calf for Shiva squats. Come back up, warrior three prep. Let's do four more. Tap the right knee outside the calf. Come up, lower down and tap. Come up, last two. Last one. Very good, rise up for tree pose on the left leg. Bring the right foot either inside the left shin or inside the left thigh. So above the left knee or below the left knee, you decide. Press your hands to the heart. Push the hips forward, engage your glutes. At the same time, pull that right knee back. If you find this super easy, close your eyes, press into your palms more. Let's take two more breaths. And to release, we step the right foot back, release the hands down, plank pose, set the knees down, tabletop, come onto your toes, rock forward and back with your arms straight. A couple more times, you really want to feel the wrists here. Come back to neutral. Make some circles around the wrists. Keep the arms straight. Again, really feel into the wrists. Switch directions. Very good. Before we put any more weight on the hands, let's warm up the wrists. Keep the breath going. We're still in the middle of the practice. Back to neutral. Now the last one, the fingertips are pointing towards the knees. Send the hips back, try to stay on the toes, let the palms lift up, breathe into the forearms, breathe into your fingers. If you don't feel this yet, rock side to side or start to bend one arm and then the other. Three more breaths here. Very good, place the palms down to the ground, extend and step the feet back for plank pose again. into your palms, push the ground away, tuck your tailbone, engage the core. Very nice yogis. Now bring the feet together, big toes are touching. Come into a side plank on the right side, reach your left arm up. Press into your right palm, lift your right hip higher up. Extend out towards the ceiling through the left fingertips. Now keep the right hand and the body as it is. Use your left hand to reach underneath your right armpit towards the right side. Reach as far as you can. Reach, 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 reach even more. Breathe for five, four, three, two, and one. Plank pose, both hands down, both feet down. Let's do the other side. Bring the feet together. Side plank on the left. Reach the right arm up. Present your left palm first and then reach out through the right fingertips. Engage your glutes. Stay here with the body. Only reach the right hand through underneath the left armpit. Reach, reach, reach even more as far as you can. Hold for five, four, press into your left palm, three, two, and one. Plank pose, both hands down. Tuck your tailbone, engage the core. Beautiful job. Shift forward, inhale, come high onto your toes. Bend your arms, lower all the way down to the ground. Untuck the toes, cobra pose, press into your palms, lift the chest up. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, relax the shoulders down away from the ears. Breathe nice and slow and engage your glutes, flex your butt cheeks. Last deep breath in, exhale, release everything down, beautiful job. Bring the hands down to the ground, come onto your toes and press up. Send the hips up and back, downward facing dog. 
First real downward facing dog of this practice and take your time to walk your dog. Just a little bit, get all the movement out. Press into your palms. Continue to press into the inside part of your hands, right between the index finger and the thumb. Use those fingertips to grip into the mat. Send the hips up and back to really open the shoulders up. And recommend always to keep the knees bent to really isolate that function of the down dog, which is to open the shoulders. Let's take three more breaths here. With the next inhale, lift your right leg up and back, three-legged dog, press into your palms. Keep moving the chest towards the left thigh. Come high onto your left toes, inhale, exhale, right knee to the right armpit, hold it there. Round your back, push the ground away. Slide that knee down towards the right wrist. Let it hover. Bring it over to the left wrist. Hover, push into your palms. Pull it up towards the left armpit. Hold. Knee to the chest. Hold again. Keep breathing. Flex the right foot. Step the foot between the hands. Pyramid pose on the other side. Shorten the stance. Straighten your legs. Then with the breath, inhale. Lengthen. Exhale, fold forward and down. Inhale to lengthen. And exhale, fold. Let's take three more. You can either stay in this fold or keep breathing and moving with the breath. Gently pull the right hip back. Now let's re-bend the right knee, shift forward, warrior three prep. Fingertips on the ground or maybe the hands on blocks. Reach back through the left heel, lower the left hip down. Keep reaching forward through the spine and through the head. We're doing five Shiva squats here. Bend both knees, the left knee taps outside the right calf. And you come back up, warrior three prep. Tap the left knee outside the right calf. Come back up, three more. Last one. Warrior three prep is where we meet. Then rise up for tree pose on the right leg. Bring the left foot inside the right shin or the right, right thigh. Hands to the heart. Press the hips forward, engage your glutes, pull the left knee back. Slow the breath down, maybe close your eyes. To release, we step the left foot next to the right. For chair pose, bend your knees, reach both arms up. Very good, send the hips back, pull the lower belly in, reach the arms higher up. Come onto your toes, lift the heels up, breathe, slowly squat all the way down, reach your hands forward, lift your hips up slightly just to engage the thighs, pull the lower belly in, hold, breathe. With your heels lifted, straighten your legs, come high onto your toes, the arms reach up. We're doing the same thing again, keep the heels lifted, bend your knees. Squat down, all the way, arms reach forward, lift your hips up a little bit higher, find that balance again, keep the breath going, then straighten your legs, last one, rise all the way up, bend your knees, lower down, very good, set the heels down, forward fold, inhale, lift up halfway, Exhale, forward fold again. Bend your knees, roll all the way up to standing. Take a deep breath in, the arms reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, step your left leg back. Low lunge, set the left knee down to the ground. Reach both arms up. I encourage you for today's Low lunge to stay on the left toes. Send the hips forward and down. Pull the right heel back. Pull the lower belly in. 
reach out through the arms. Now start to release the hands down next to your sides, the palms are facing forward, straighten your right leg, lean back. Come onto your left toes if you're not already, lift your right foot up off the ground. Just balance here, but keep pushing your hips forward and up. Maybe you find this as fun and as meditative as I do. And set the right foot back down, low lunge. Stay on your left toes, lift your left knee up, crescent lunge. Look inside the right knee, make sure you can see the right big toe inside the right knee. Pull the lower belly in, reach out to the arms. Now reach your left arm forward, the right arm behind your open crescent twist. Instead of leaning forward, lean back a little bit more. Reach even more forward, even more forward, even more forward. Revolved half moon, the left leg floats up, left hand down. The right arm is reaching up. Very good. Keep reaching back through the left leg and forward through the spine. Rotate the chest more to the right. And now we switch sides, switch hands, right hand down and left arm up, half moon. Very good. Stack the left hip over the right by reaching the left heel more back behind you. If you want to lift that right hand up off the ground, do it by lifting your upper body up higher. Really use that left side upper body to, for that lift, to lift that right hand up off the ground. Start to bend the right knee warrior two, step the left foot to the back of the mat, warrior two. Reach the right arm forward, the left arm back. Look inside the right knee, make sure you can see the big toe. Pull the lower belly in, reach out through the arms, keep the arms lifted. At the same time, relax your shoulders down away from the ears. Start to straighten your right leg, bend the left, spinal lunge to the left, Skandasana. For some of us, the left heel is lifted. For some, it's on the ground. It really doesn't matter. Whatever your body can do today. From that spinal lunge, move forward towards the right foot for warrior three. The left leg floats up. Reach both arms forward, up and over your head. Reach back through the left heel, forward through the toes. Lower the left hip down. Breathe in and out through the nose. Come high up to standing on the right leg. Draw the left knee into the chest. Arms down to the sides. Extend the left leg forward. Slowly bend the standing leg. Pistol squat down. Come onto your back. The left leg is reaching up. The right leg is reaching forward first. Internally rotate the thighs. Then reach both arms up towards your left toes. Lift the upper body up and lower. Lift and lower. We're going for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold it there. Lift up. Lift the shoulder blades up. Reach towards the left toes. Hold for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And one, release, come onto your back, bend both knees, rock forward, both feet down, forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway, exhale, forward fold and down. Bend your knees, roll up through the spine to standing, deep breath in, the arms reach up, then step the left foot back, hands down, plank pose. Very good, find that plank. Bring the feet together, big toes are touching, side plank on the right side. Reach your left arm up. Find that foundation first, feel free to stay here. Start to reach that left arm underneath the right armpit. Reach to the right side, but stay on the knife edge of the right foot. Once you feel like you cannot reach further, then you come onto your toes and you reach the arm even further. Reach that left shoulder towards the right arm, breathe. And come back to plank, 
beautiful job. Other side, feet together, side plank on the left, reach the right arm up. Either stay or reach through. Reach, 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 breathe. And then come onto your toes, reach even more, press into your left palm, right shoulder towards the left arm, breathe, tuck the tailbone, plank pose, beautiful job. Clean it up. Now on a count of five, we're gonna lower down, shift forward, start to bend your arms for so five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful job. Interlace your hands behind the back, untuck the toes, lift the chest up. Locust with C arms. Squeeze the glutes. Last deep breath in. And exhale, release. Shake out the hips. Beautiful job. Bring your hands underneath the shoulders. Keep the toes untucked. Upward facing dog. Engage the glutes more. Pull the shoulders back, offer the heart forward. The only thing touching the hands is actually uh, touching the ground is the hands and the tops of your feet. Press into the palms, flex your butt cheeks. Now stay on the tops of your feet. You shift forward, bend your arms, chaturanga. Straighten your arms, plank on the tops of the feet. Shift forward again, bend your arms, chaturanga. Up dog, exhale chaturanga, inhale plank, you can keep going all day, bend your arms, chaturanga, up dog, okay downward facing dog, send the hips up and back, beautiful, take a couple deep breaths, take a deep breath in through the nose, in fact, open mouth, let it all go, two more just like this, inhale through the nose, Open mouth, let it all go. Last one, inhale. Open mouth, let it all go. Seal the lips again, find that breath through the nose. Slow it down, come back to your body, to your breath, to your intention. And with your next inhale, you lift your left leg up and back, three-legged dog. Keep pressing into the palms, move the chest towards the right thigh. Inhale, come high onto your right toes. Exhale, left knee to the left armpit. Hold it there, round your back. Slide the knee down towards the left wrist. Let it hover. Keep the arms straight. Shift the shoulders more forward. Bring it over to the right wrist. Pull it up to the right armpit. Hold. Breathe. Knee to the chest. Round your back. Flex the foot. Step the foot between the hands. Low lunge, other side, set the right knee down. Reach both arms up. Beautiful job so far, yogis. This is not easy stuff. I'm dripping sweat here too, I'm working with you. Pull the left heel back, send the hips forward and down. Stay on the right toes. Release the hands down. Palms are facing forward. Send the hips back, straighten your left leg. Balance on the right knee, the right foot, the left leg floats up. Push the right hip more forward, engage the right glute more. Just stare at one point on the ground. Now release, set the left foot down, arms reach up. Crescent lunge, lift your right knee up as well, hold. Look inside the left knee, you want to see the left big toe. Pull the lower belly in, reach out through the arms. Start to reach the right arm forward, the left arm back. Instead of leaning forward, lean back for now. Really use that core for the rotation to the left. Start to reach the right hand forward, revolved half moon, the right toes become light, they lift up, right hand down, left arm up. Keep the breath nice and soft, especially now that it gets more and more challenging. Switch the hands, left hand down, right arm up, 
half moon, stack the right hip over the left, lots of hip movement here. Reach back through the right heel, perhaps lift the left hand up. We're all meeting in a warrior two, bend the left leg, step the right foot back. Beautiful. Find that nice bend in your left knee. You want to see the big toe there. Reach out through the arms. Pull the lower belly in. And breathe. Straighten the left leg, bend the right. Spider lunge to the right. Look towards the left foot. Move to the left foot, move to the front of the mat, warrior three. The right leg floats up, both arms up and over your head, reaching forward. Reach back through the right heel, lower the right hip down. Come up to standing on the left leg, draw the right knee to the chest. Extend the right leg forward, slowly squat down, pistol squatting down. Down we go, come onto your back, lift the right leg up, left leg forward, reach up towards the right foot, internally rotate the thighs, lift the shoulder blades up off the ground, and lower, lift, and lower, we're going for one, two, three, four, let's do it in German, fünf, sechs, Sieben, acht, neun, zehn. Hold it here. Zehn, neun, acht, sieben, sechs, fünf, vier, drei, zwei, eins. And release. Come onto your back. Bend your knees. Rock forward. Plant the feet down. Forward fold. Very good. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Bend your knees, roll up to standing. Chair pose, last chair. Send the hips back, lift the arms up high, lift your heels up, breathe. Bend the knees, squat down, reach the hands forward. Lift your hips up slightly, balance here, hold, breathe. Start to straighten your legs, keep the heels lifted, the arms reach up, bend your knees again through chair pose, squat all the way down, heels down, forward fold. Very good, let's step back to plank. On your inhale, shift forward, come high onto your toes, bend your arms, exhale, chaturanga. Hold it there for 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, the elbows are touching the rib cage. Four, three, two, one. Plank pose, straighten your arms. Beautiful job. Downward facing dog. Beautiful work. Slow the breath down. Couple of breaths here. Now the option for you to float or to handstand, you will meet in Malasana, Yogi Squat, with the feet outside the hands. So pick your option here. Take your time to get there. Malasana, Yogi Squat. Beautiful job. Sit on the block if you want to, if that's too deep and the heels come up. Maybe use a block. Bring your hands together. The knees um, are outside the elbows or the elbows, the arms inside the knees. Take a moment here and slow the breath down. Lengthen out through the spine.
Beautiful. We'll set the hips down. Keep the feet on the ground. Bring your hands behind you for reverse tabletop. Press into the, the feet and the hands. Lift your hips up. Engage your glutes. Lift the hips up as high as you can. Do whatever feels good for your head. Keep it either upright or let it tilt backward. You decide. Now keep the hands where they're at. Move the hips forward. Set the hips all the way down to the ground as close to your heels as possible. Again, don't move the hands. Now inhale, lift your chest up. Exhale, bend your arms, send the elbows back. Very good. Rock side to side. If you want, breathe into the sensation in the body. The function of this is to stretch out the front side of the shoulders. And release, reach your arms forward, come onto your back for happy baby. Grab the outside edges of the feet or behind the knees. Straighten one leg if you want to. Then the other, I recommend closing your eyes so that you can just tune in and feel what feels good right now. What do you need? What do you want? And then do that. Listen to the body. It's so intelligent. Hug both knees into the chest. Give yourself a nice hug. Open mouth. Let the, all the air go. Extend the legs forward for Shavasana. Come onto your back. Palms are facing upwards. Bring the feet wide apart, the knees. Hey, yogis. Thanks so much for practicing.